All right, welcome back to Eidolon. Being recorded in front of a live studio audience today, uh, March 2nd, for the second day of Stream a Weekday of March 2016. Played quite a bit of Eidolon previously. I played like an hour of it, released two or three episodes, and then took a year and a half break, and then returned to Eidolon with, with, with such vigor. And uh, we're getting we're getting tips. Josh can't stick around. Yeah, you'll you you can watch this on uh, YouTube later, Josh. As as perhaps you might be as well on YouTube. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks for that tip. It's much appreciated. Let me let me give a brief rundown. There might be people here in the uh, the chat, or perhaps watching on YouTube who don't know what Eidolon is. Eidolon. Let me click on play. First person, exploration, uh, tilting heavily towards the walking simulator side of things, but there is actually, you can jump, uh, you can run. There is actually some, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, survival sort of elements here. Very minimalistic survival, both in, in graphics and in, in the means of survival. Uh, I totally forget how to play, honestly. Okay, yeah, there's my items. You start out with nothing, with bubkas. Uh, you get a fishing rod to catch fish. Uh, got a compass to kind of know which way we're going. This is all stuff you, you slowly get. You get a bow and arrow to fend off aminals. Uh, and some binoculars to, uh, to see stuff on the horizon, like the ruins of what I think where we left off was the ruins of Seattle. We were making our way. Let's take a look at our maps. This is our inventory. Let's take a look at our map. Uh, this is the first map you start with, is a crudely drawn map. And then we got this map. Uh, we were up here, we came down. That is Olympia, I believe. And we're now on this road and we're off this map. We were trying to make our way to Bellevue, but then we happened upon the ruins of uh, Seattle here. We did go up through Port Angeles and up into Canada for a bit, where there was a crazy cult that uh, we learned about. And yeah, so there's Seattle. Bellevue is to the northeast, I think? Or is this Bellevue? I'm kind of a little bit lost. Which is appropriate for Eidolon, because you really never know where you are or what's going on. I can't remember specifically. I remember Seattle was in and on the water. Maybe that's where we rocked back to. Uh, essentially, you're just here alone by yourself trying to collect all of these uh, scraps. Oops, no, no, not, not maps. Scraps. Different scraps of people's lives kind of piecing together what happened. I'm still not entirely sure what happened. Uh, from what I understand, I should really be keeping notes, <laughs> is what I've understood. I didn't realize I had a notepad until, like, a little bit ago. <laughs> I should be really using this to keep notes, I say. Um, oh yeah, you gotta eat. You gotta eat, you gotta forage and survive. A little bit of very, very basic survival stuff going on here. Um, from what I can figure out. We're in the Pacific Northwest of the United States here, Washington specifically, and uh, it's like the year 2100s, 2400s. There's dates jump all over the place. We're not exactly sure. Uh, essentially, there was a very large earthquake. Hi, thanks for the tip. Jack Robertson. Everybody with the name of, that starts with a J. Lisa needs braces. Oh, well, you just ruined that. <laughs> the Kavak. Thank you very much. Um, thank you uh, for all those tips. I appreciate it. If I if I miss some, I'll, I'll get to them at the end of the stream. But uh, they're kind of hard to miss, what with Lisa needs braces. But yeah, essentially there was a big earthquake. Uh, a lot of people died. <laughs> a lot of death and destruction happened. I think Seattle got ruined in the earthquake. That's when Seattle fell. Uh, and uh, that was very cataclysmic. And uh, I, I guess it got people looking for hope or a way out or something. And then they discovered these Senin people. 
Oh, I'm exhausted. I, I should sleep. They discovered these Senin people who were immortal. Uh, and these Senin people... I'm not... I, I haven't figured out or pieced together where exactly they're from. There was something about a spaceship crash, but I'm not sure if that's where they came from. If they're aliens or if they're just kind of a variation of human. Uh, or what. Whoa, watch your step. But, uh... Yeah, they, I, they tried to help, but then they started their, their, their immortal powers sort of got uh, hijacked, I guess, by science. Science. Uh, we, we visited that testing facility. They were doing it on anim animals, aminals, and there were a bunch of, like, beasts and whatever that came of that that were discussed and uh, we were frightened about. Uh, and then I guess they started doing it to people, but then they, then they came up with the beacons. Beacons were basically using, as far as I can tell, senin juice. Uh, they were placed in the middle of cities, and then everybody within a certain radius of a beacon would pretty much be immortal and free of death. And, uh, you know, they wouldn't get injured or sick or anything like that. But then, of course, it started to be the haves and have-nots, the people in the center of the cities with the beacons walled off to not let the poor people on the outside uh, allowed any, any beacons. And then there were riots, and then there were certain senin who were like, this is wrong, and they started fighting against, and then there were different cults that kind of rose out of it that said, no, this is some sort of God's doing, and they left the cities, and uh, we visited an old town, which was a settlement that slowly died, and there's there's very many different intricate, uh, intricate uh, storylines going on here uh, that kind of put together the entire picture. That's what I can kind of put together. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to keep track of, as you can see. The notes don't all organize via categories. There are these, like, pages and uh, books and, and little letters. There's these Mori guys and Moncada guy. They're kind of big, big names. Uh, we do have... we have been following the notes. Probably the more interesting storyline is the notes of this one Senin, Tyria, and uh, her friend? Father? We're not sure exactly who it is. Elder? Elden? Uh, basically, pretty much after everything fell, they were traveling around, I guess, trying to find and help survivors. And they've been dropping hints. Uh, Arteria has been dropping hints and notes for us. Uh, and we lost her trail up in Canada. Uh, but uh, that's probably been the most interesting storyline that I've personally been following. Uh, but they're a little bit, little bit more difficult to follow when you get into... There was some, some artists... Uh, who was like had attempted murders against her and and there's there's the the, the cult guys and <laughs> the science guys and it's 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 a real big mess but uh, we have yet to uh, explore the entire place let's let's eat uh, some mushrooms because those tend to go bad pretty quick uh, how about a fish oh I guess I'm full all right uh, all right let's go to sleep and then uh, read some poetry. This uh, We haven't done this in a while. I met a seer, passing the hues and objects of the world, the fields of art and learning, pleasure, sense, to glean. Eidolons. Poetry. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, we're still hungry. All right, well, I guess we can eat that fish now. All right. Very nice. All right, so let's let's actually consult our map because I think this is Seattle. We've already kind of sifted through Seattle uh, as best we can. We've got to go east to the road. I thought I tried to find the road, but I went, I overshot it, and then ran into a bear. Yeah, that you can die. I haven't died yet, much like Far Lines or Bust. You can die. We got knocked out and uh, mauled by a mountain lion, but it didn't kill us, thankfully. Uh, we've avoided the bears for the most part. Alright, where is... Alright, north... east. Alright, let's just go straight east until we supposedly should be hitting a road. And then follow that road north. Yeah, this looks familiar. I think I made a... a mention of this pyramid thing here. 
So I think this is definitely Seattle, or what once was. All right, still going east. Oh, that's right, okay. Caps lock allows you to sprint endlessly. Woo, clipping through the terrain. All right, watch your step here. You can twist your ankle and get injured. I did that before. <laughs> I had a an open flesh wound or whatever it said I had. All right, still kind of going east. Yeah, a lot of these roads are buried by the dirt. You just kind of look for, like, empty cars and stuff and be like, okay, that's probably a road. Whoop, going a bit north. All right, let's keep going east. Seemed like it was pretty far east. And yeah, the, these maps are difficult to follow as well because they're all hand-drawn and they're not to scale, so... What you think may be like a mile away is actually just over a, the next hill or whatever. It's got a very nice soundtrack. I was really surprised. I can't remember how much I bought this for a couple years ago when it first came out. It's very, it's very affordable, and it's a huge world. I just thought it was going to be just a little, that first map. But like I said, I've been playing this for many, many years, and I've yet to even, like, explore the entire world. We did meet some definitive borders. Ooh, I see a wall. That, actually... Uh, wait a minute now. That might be Bellevue. Because it w wasn't it one of the first Beacon Cities? Oh, I'm hungry again. Hey, dang guy. Or, or girl, or whoever I am. Uh, no, no. Huh, I might want to hang out by the water and fish more, but let's... Yeah, was it? I think Bellevue was one of the first beacon cities. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to actually confirm or deny such claims. Uh, reach office... Port Angeles, yeah, this is, I think, the last stuff we got from Tyria. Oh, yeah, that's a picture of the ruins of Port Angeles, I think. Um... Like this, I haven't. This is like an entire book that has page numbers and stuff. All right, let's let's just go on the uh, the perhaps incorrect assumption that. Okay, yeah, there's Seattle. It's been devoured by the ocean. Uh, Bellevue was one of the first cities. Uh, with a beacon, which would explain the wall. Did I see a bling down there? I thought I did. Oh, here's one right here. Alright, let's let's find out what this is all about. Yeah, these are these are little crystals that give you information. Uh, and those are human bones. <laughs> Oh, it's more more from Tyria. I think yeah, we're we're reading her stories out of order here. Uh yeah, this one. All right. Bellevue is unlike any city I've ever visited before. Once Ceterite, Ceterite was discovered. Oh, is Ceterite the Senin? Yeah, that sounds like the Senin juice. <laughs> it became one of the most proper pro prosperous in the city. Technology and manufacturing drew people from around the world. People were flocking long before any beacons were erected. Oh, okay. Maybe that's why they built a wall around the whole thing instead of just the city center. We haven't gone inside yet, but 
Bellevue is infamous towers are still visible. Hmm. The remains of the shanties are much smaller than I'm used to seeing. Maybe because people were allowed to live in the city proper. The tin and aluminium structures are what vestiges of there that were extend further out than the beacon's influence possibly could have. These poor, naive people living like that in the hopes they might gain a year or two or might not get as sick as easily. Uh, this is all making sense with the... Uh, the thing, the, the, the little recap I just did, right? It's interesting to think about the different life became. Once the beacons were erected, there were no more sick days from work. Nobody was given disability assistance. Social security ceased to exist. There was no retirement. Battle over reproductive rights took a, a number of interesting turns. The medical field was in constant flux for decades. Everything from day-to-day -day activities to politics to war was changed forever. I remember how long it took just to figure out the military, how the military would function. People from Beacon cities couldn't fight. There was just no way they would not. They would. They wouldn't die. They would die long before they reached the battlefield. Oh, that's right. Because once you leave the Beacon's influence, your like cumulative age catches up with you. I think is the problem. The problem was that it was difficult to motivate outsiders to fight when the city dwellers, you know, the rich people couldn't. Yeah, that's kind of how. It works nowadays. Uh, a mixture of beacon incentives and pay increases that did the trick. Blah, 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 blah. Elden almost joined the military. Is it Elden or Elder? I always confuse and people try to correct me, but I never listen. He was idealistic when he was younger. He thought it was his duty to protect the normals. Yeah, she, see, she and Elden are, are Senan. Never quite knew how to do it. He wants to find a way through the wall tomorrow, or over it. The ev evacuation, if you could call it that, was brutal. They all flocked... Wait, they locked! Oh, they locked all the gates and shot people as they tried to flee the certain death that accompanied them. Why would they do that? The years have not been kind to the wall, but it was built well by necessity and still stands firm. I can't read cursive. Uh, I can only imagine that it must look like inside. Littered with piles and piles of bones. When Olympia's beacon fell, even if it had been any real government left to give guidance, there would have been no way to enforce it. Here things were different. I've had a lot of time. Regardless, there still has to be a way in. What we are looking for is inside, whether I agree with him or not. Elden has his mindset. It is more important to retrieve it than to keep these ruins intact. Interesting. Okay, well, it's basically telling me to go through the wall. I think we're here many, many, many years after Tyria was, so I'm assuming the wall might have a little bit more weak spots to check out. Oh, yeah, okay, there's the road. Okay, well, I guess the road runs right through it. So that's weird. Why would they... So the beacons fell. Uh, perhaps via sabotage. And when they did, the cities fell with them. I'm just curious, why would they... I guess to stop them from flocking to other beacon cities. Why would they be shooting the people trying to get out? Alright, let's see. It's in these rubble of cars. Uh, this is Jamie. See, I'm, I'm not too clear on Jamie's story. Uh, in 2110, I guess there's nothing more to do, just wait. Bellevue went out like an expired light bulb. Even from the freeway, I could hear the violence. A million people filling the streets. Some with sores already, Ugh. some dying in the alleyways. We put up a blockade on the freeway, a couple outposts in the streets below. Our orders now are to shoot on sight to make sure no one makes it to Olympia. Yeah, okay, just to avoid the overflow. We're one of the last cities. That's right, Olympia was the last city to fall. Or at least it seems like it. No more room for order or decency. Give the faithful as few chances to get into our city as possible. Friendly folks, friendly folks. Uh, yeah, I'm not entirely 
sure about Jamie's story. All right, well, apparently we've made our way into the walls. Excuse me, Bones. Bones McGee. Oh, man. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. We haven't seen anything like this before. I mean, we see cars and stuff, but not all piled up like this. Dental plan! Hey, Doc Gratis. That's a name I recognize. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for subscribing. Enjoy your 3D glasses. <laughs> Get bummed out by the, <laughs> the subject of this uh, video game we're playing. Uh, let's see. All right, I'm looking around for other... Flashies. Oh. All right. Yeah, actually, uh, I might have to head back to the water if food is going to be an issue. I'm not seeing any wildlife here. Or berries or mushrooms or anything either. Where's my bird? I have a bird friend who kind of directs me to the closest clue. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. All right, let's take over here. Oh, there he is. Where are you going? Okay, he's over here. Ooh, there's some mountains in the distance. Ooh. This is new music. Yeah, like even still this far into the game, I'm still finding new music and stuff. Stuff! Oh, I lost my bird. <laughs> 